I'm Paul Brown, Portfolio Advisor for the Construction Sector at City and Guilds. I'm going to introduce you to a sample curriculum delivery plan for the Level 3 Advanced Technical Diploma in Painting and Decorating. Looking at the sample curriculum plan, you will see the three terms are shown in red, blue and green. The purpose of this sample academic plan is to highlight the key dates you need to prepare your learners to complete their final assessments. The teaching and delivery weeks shown will ensure that your delivery fully prepares the learners for the practical synoptic assessment and knowledge test. As you can see from the plan, it has some important key dates shown in red. These are fixed milestones. As long as these assessment dates are adhered to, every other aspect of delivery is flexible. The synoptic practical assessment and knowledge test will cover all the units shown on the curriculum plan. These are all mandatory, so when planning your scheme of work, all these units need to be considered and prioritised taking into account your workshop facilities, staffing, teaching and learning resources and how these are used to support some degree of blended learning. Looking now at the Academic Planner Term 1. To prepare your learners for these key assessment dates, we would suggest you deliver in the first term the units marked with a tick. However, you may choose to deliver the units in a different order to this sample curriculum plan. This is equally acceptable. To be most efficient in your delivery, we would recommend that you adopt a holistic approach, blending in unit content within your technical delivery. Give the learners self-directed study as homework to develop their knowledge using our resources such as textbooks and smart screen. After approximately six weeks of delivery, some form of assessment should take place to ensure learners are making adequate progress and smart targets are set which support differentiated learning. The opportunity to review progress and recap on learning should take place throughout the programme. Just before Christmas, we would suggest you start to rank your learners on their practical skills by planning formative assessment weeks and carrying out mock practical synoptic assessments. Term two, while not prescriptive, we would suggest you continue to deliver the units shown and also start to develop the learner's skills and knowledge further by commencing other units. You may wish to commence the delivery of these units earlier as suggested or later. You have the flexibility to adapt to suit your needs. In week 18, City and Guilds will release to the centres the requirements for the final practical synoptic assessment. Within this window of opportunity, you will have 12 weeks for your learners to complete this practical assessment. These results need to be submitted to City and Guilds by week 30. Term 3, while not prescriptive, we would suggest you continue to deliver the units shown. Week 26 would be the first opportunity for your learners to sit the externally set and externally marked knowledge test. Results to the centre will be sent in week 31. If any learners do not pass, then they would have their second reset opportunity in week 34 with the results sent to the centre in week 39. Remember that your learners will only have one opportunity for a reset if they do not pass on their first attempt. Alongside this sample core curriculum activity planner, learners could be working on broader workplace and project skills. The plan illustrates this in grey and shows how these can run alongside the main programme. The important registration and submission dates are shown on the plan. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. If you would like any further information, please contact me or your business manager, or you will find more information on our website, www.cityandguilds.com forward slash techback. Thank you.